micro hydroelectric power plant. Can we get this to charge a battery? Here's our turbines. I have a little bit of a different video for you. I'm not gonna burn anything with a uh, weed torch. I'm not gonna talk about tiny houses, although I am up here at my glorious tiny house in upstate New York. I'm not gonna go into the details as to why I have unlimited amounts of flowing water here. And I did a separate video on that. You can check that video out by clicking on the link in the corner. So what we have here is the assortment of stuff that we're gonna need for this particular project. I got myself a bunch of these F50 12 volt electric generators. Water goes in one side, comes out the other and spins this wheel. And I've got six of these things. So we're gonna get six of these things humming along and then we're going to put the whole thing together with the help of this thing, which is like a garden hose splitter. But let me get this rig put together so I can show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put links to all the pieces that I'm using here in the description below. But this is our rig. Here's our turbines. And we're gonna hook this up. Arr! Get a good seal on there. All right, this is it. All right, so this is the initial test. The water's back on. These are all turned off. Let's fire them up and see what happens. Oh yeah. There they go two spinning. That is pretty cool. Now I have no idea how much juice is coming out of these things, but that's going to be the next step. But that's a good start. All these ends have to come off. We just get one massive positive together, one big negative together. If I can get all these twisted together, that's all my positives, and I get all the negatives twisted together, and then we just hook it up to a single wire set. So this wire is has this kind of plug on it. I forget, I forget what that, that plug is called, but that is the plug that feeds the EcoFlow. It goes right in there. So then the concept is we have all this generating electricity and we have that we have it going into the EcoFlow, which currently is at zero. So let's see if we can charge this thing. That's that's the goal. Let's clip this thing off. And bye bye. We got to strip that down, figure out which is the positive, which is the negative. And then we're gonna hook all this together. There's the positive. All right, now we need to do all of these. I haven't made a video in a while. I got married. Yeah, that's exciting. Now we're gonna twist all these up. Now let's merge them all together. There it is. Now let's move this out of here, make this a little bit more elegant. Six hydro turbines, micro hydro turbines combined to converge on this plug, which will go into this EcoFlow. I mean, all that's left to do is like, let's run some water through this. Let's see if this works. So if you think it's worthwhile content, hit that like button. Let's get this hooked up. Dead, zero. The goal is this has got a, uh, an input reading and an output reading. So currently, obviously, nothing's going in, nothing's coming out. But this number up top, those four zeros, if this works, we're going to see that register on there. We're going to plug that into the unit. That's in. 
Then we've got our garden hose currently turned off. Let me turn on the, uh, the water. Oh man, this is exciting. Oh yeah. All right, so here we go. We are going to turn this on and let's make some electricity here. Come on, get there. And let's see, are we registering anything? No. So here's the deal. This thing is not charging. So that leads me to believe we're not putting out a whole lot of power through this. I don't know how much power I was expecting to put out through this. Ideally enough to charge one of these if you have enough patience, but apparently not. But what I did get to work was I have one of these ceiling lights that I use in my tiny house and that is hooked up and Oh yeah, there it goes. Look at that, we're making power. Hydroelectric, it's easy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much, you know, practical use there is for that. The end of the world comes along and all I got left is this to like light the house. Well, you know what? There it is, right there. That's pretty bright. Well, proof of concept has worked. I'm gonna say this has been a partial success. Obviously charging one of these would be amazing, but the fact that I'm able to produce electricity off of just water that I have running through this garden hose day in and day out here is kind of cool. I gotta come up with a slightly better plan I think, I think this is one that we're going to revisit at some point. We're going to do like a part two to this particular video. Yeah, you can make power with, uh, with, uh, with these little things. It's just not very much of it. If you like this video, hit the like button because YouTube loves it when you do that. I love it when you do that. It doesn't cost you anything. And please check out some of my other videos. In particular, the one that I was telling you about, about the... Um, the way that I get this water to run through this pipe in the first place, because that's kind of interesting too. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video, and uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. All right, shutting this thing down.